Welcome back, everybody, to the first step. Uh, this is, I guess, it's been a couple weeks at this point. It's been three weeks for me. Uh, uh, this is our show on GDQ <laughs> Hotfix about running new games. My name is Jay Hobbs, and I'm joined, as usual, I would say as always, but like last time I was the one who wasn't here, uh, with uh, by Keys are on. Keys, how are you doing yeah, today? I, I have the perfect attendance record with one less show. You do. I mean, well, That's so amazing. we were going to have a show without you last week, and then unfortunately I had to go up and get sick, so. <laughs> yeah but shouldn't do that yes no no no. that would be that's ill-advised uh get it get, get ready for a bunch of puns this this time because <laughs> that's what uh, this, this game is, is. This we're is playing horrible. cat quest 2 uh we wanted to take a, a stab at, at an rpg for the first step for anybody who's unfamiliar with the show especially since it's been a couple weeks basically what we do is we do semi-blind races to show you how easy it is to get into speedrunning if you don't want to put a lot of effort and stuff up front. Keys, let us let them know what semi-blind races are. Right. So some of you might be familiar with the term blind, thus meaning you have no knowledge of anything, uh, not to be confused with blindfolded, which those are always amazing to watch, and I don't think both of us combined could do one at all. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, so what blind means in the speedrunning community is no knowledge, no prior knowledge. You haven't seen it, you haven't touched it, you have no idea what you're doing. In this case, we're doing semi-blind races. And what we mean by that is we have a very faint knowledge of the game. So we typically take about, we give ourselves about eight hours to play this game off the GDQ show. Mm -hmm. And then we give ourselves about a four hour limit and you know we set whatever estimate we feel we're comfortable with. So I believe this time it's a three hour estimate. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we can beat that. I know that like, so the first playthrough only took me about three and a half to four hours. I think it took you around the same, right? Yeah, it's a little over four hours. Yeah, so hopefully we should be able to beat that estimate, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to not spend much longer on this. We're going to get into it pretty quick here. But first, <sighs> yes, we have the yes. worst part of the show, which is also the best part of the show whenever I have won the previous episode. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> basically, uh, what we decided to do to just have a little bit of competitive nature into the show, we're mostly just having fun here, but uh, is whoever wins the uh, previous show gets to receive three compliments from the other person. Uh, and mm. the last time that Keys and I both raced, I lost Cadence of Hyrule to him. So, Keys, um, you, let's see, I'm trying to think of like compliments I also haven't given. Uh, hey, That's you, the hard part. <laughs> you just helped raise a bunch of money for direct relief over the past weekend, and I think that you were a big part of that. So, yeah. Oh, that is, that you is feel, true. You should Thank feel you. good about that. All right. Uh... Uh <laughs> oh, your new uh demo for your uh your band sounds sick. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um and you can probably handle being around cats more than I can, so maybe you have the edge coming into this one. Somehow that's a compliment. <laughs> uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, with that in mind, you have anything else keys before we get started here? Uh, we're both allergic to cats, and this is miserable. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Also, for anybody who has not seen this game before, get ready for a lot of puns centered around They're cats horrible. and dogs. They're horrible. <laughs> there are quite a few. All right. Mm. It sounds like we're pretty much good to go. So I think uh, on go if you're sitting on the, right. the slots. Sure am. I'm hovering right. over empty slots. Yeah, you can see my first game ended at level 71. Um, Same. Was early day. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, because I think we did very, very little side stuff a piece. So, right. Uh, all right. So here we go. In three, two, one, go. All right. So lots of mashing <coughs> A in this, as you do with most RPGs. <laughs> uh, a, I have to mash well, E because I'm keyboard master race. I'm really mashing X because I'm using a Dual Shock Four. But <laughs> that's fair. I kind of want to take the tiniest of time losses to make my dog the main. Oh, I did that already. <laughs> All right, done. <laughs> yeah. 100% I'm using the dog. Oh, start rolling the wrong way. All right. Oh, start rolling the wrong way. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a hot tip. Definitely skip the first chest. You should absolutely do that. I, you know, I picked it up. Yeah, see, and you I actually, actually like should have skipped it, but... <laughs> This is horrible. All right. So, um, for kind of the basic mechanics of this game, it's you brought up that it kind of feels a little similar to Bastion in the combat and stuff. Um, oh, the second chest sucks too. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, thanks for reminding me. I hadn't picked it up yet. All right. Uh, but yeah, basically, you just kind of move around in this 
little flat environment and uh, attack things. You have a little roll, which I'm assuming you also found to be faster <laughs> than uh, yep. than walking. Or at, le at least I, I kind of like did a little testing on it, and it was it seemed ever so slightly faster. Um, I I lied. I'm running the cat because I don't feel like unequipping fire. <laughs> <laughs> I found ice to be fine, so I'm just gonna roll with that. I really like fire. I'm gonna actually deviate for just a little bit of the money here, and then head on out. Uh, so yeah, you basically can just like, you can roll, you can attack, and then you actually get access to magic as well. Um, and you can avoid enemy attacks by just like looking, they generally will have a little red, um, circle that'll show up. This is our fast travel hub that we're now leaving. I don't think we're going to be using Man, that like too a much. second behind. It's, it was a little confusing. Yeah, like, I, I'm sure, like, better runs and better runners could utilize these warps a lot better than we mm. can, but I I got too lazy to even try and put oh. it together. So, unfortunately, you can't interact with things when there are enemies nearby, for the most part. So, sometimes, even on the overworld here, we're going to have to... We're going to have to, like, actually attack the enemies. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going for the big detour here for a, for an item. Oh, really? Already? Yep. Somebody put yep. more planning into this than I did. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure anyone who's watched this show, I'm sure you're familiar with the tradition of we take a break, Keys has a big lead, and then Hobbs is like, oh, well, guess what? I've had time <laughs> to think about this. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Well, let me, let me tell you, I, I had to stop in the middle of my playthrough and I thought about things and I, I, I found what I think is a decent strategy if I do it right. You know That's who's cool. not doing it right right now though? You. Me. <laughs> so uh, my guess is that you're deviating for like a, a strong weapon because this game has experience and it has levels, but none of your weapons or like armor or anything are gated by those levels. I game over and I goofed. Uh oh. <laughs> yep, it sounds like you definitely went to a high power area to go That's get a weapon. That's the plan. Um, now, there's also magic, as we mentioned, and you have a mana bar that fills up as you basically... Oh, my. I forgot to pick up the ore while I was over there. Well, that's unfortunate. That'll help balance out the time loss you just had. Uh, <laughs> not as much, probably, but... Um, so, yeah, there, there's a, a mana bar right below your health in the top left, and that refills as you deal attacks. Now, if I remember right, I actually kind of remember this being decent. Oops. Come on over here. Unfortunately, some of these All enemies right. you can't actually deal damage to. They have to like deal damage to themselves. There we go. Via the spikes. I need. I need you to go. Come on. Come this way. Come this way. I like ah, it. Yeah, that was I like it. I this is this is going all right. <laughs> I'm so. I lost interest in what you're doing. I'm not gonna know where to go, so you can talk about it. <laughs> uh no. Yes, it worked. Ha. All right. Um. So I think I can also uh, no, do this. I, I think. Hopefully I'm right. Do I have my gear? Meanwhile, I'll, I'm I'll just kind of... I'll tell you what I did if it worked. Okay, I'm kind of just progressing the story. Oh, apparently I need to talk to you for the upgrade. I don't want to actually upgrade anything, though. Thank you. All right, I went out of my way, and I have level 38 armor. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd do it. Um, one of the things is this game has, like, a lot of side quests, it seems. Um, you're not really going to see us do any of them. I might do, like, one or two, maybe. But for the most part, you get so much experience and gold from just, like, doing the story quests that I'm prob I'm going to try to just rely on that. That's going to be my main strategy, at least. I'm, I don't know if he's doing the same thing. Um, I, I have one area that I, like, I looked back at my VOD and I'm like, hmm, maybe this would be an okay place. Right. Uh, oh, right, we can upgrade magic here. I never upgraded my magic. I should do that. I'm going to I'm gonna start out with one magic upgrade. I totally forgot the, the upgrade place existed, so I might come back here. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, otherwise, my plan is probably to upgrade my melee stuff a lot. Um, the thing about, about using, about, like, routing RPGs is that you, they usually take a lot longer to route than, like, a platformer or something like that, which can make them a little bit harder to learn as a speedrun. 
Um, but especially when you're the one trying to make it up, it, the RPGs can be a little harder for these semi-blind race kind of things. Um, for sure. Ah, I didn't mean to get hit by that. So, like, right here, I'm just hitting him. Uh, th this enemy is resistant to physical attack, so I was just hitting him to get my magic back faster. Whereas these enemies, I can just attack. I'm hoping my time investments are, are worth it. I mean, if you have good armor, that probably will be worth it, because I found that I died a lot in this game near the end. For a while, it was pretty simple, but at the end of the game, and this happens a lot in RPGs, um, you tend to, and if you're just doing story missions, you often can end up uh, underleveled. And because of that, be in a very risky position a lot of the time. That's what I'm going to go with. Um, for the most part, like even showing on the casual file how I was level 71, that is the, that is still less than the level of the final boss. Right, like the recommended levels were significantly higher than what I was. Yeah, I think it was 80 was the recommend level at the end. But yeah, throughout the whole game, it was definitely taking some time. Uh, having to keep talking, mashing A. So you, you've done a lot of RPG routing yourself keys. I, I haven't done as much routing. Kind of what what is in your... Oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? What, what is your mindset when you're going into, like, running an RPG for the first time? So, typically in my case, it's, it's pretty much, like, balancing, like, time investment versus power. Oops. So... Like, there's a lot of times where, like, these RPGs have really powerful and, like, really strong gimmicks. Oops. But it might take a little too long to get. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's really just figuring out that balance. All right, so I'm currently in a what is this? What is it? A trial of sorts because there's there's an axe that I want. <laughs> so like I'm going way out of my way for some things. All right, so this is either timed or a scripted death. So I'm. I did not actually die to this last time, but I'm going to try dying to this this time and see if it's faster than just waiting out the time. All right, so I just picked up an axe that increases my roll range. Very good. And that seemed like the same amount of time, probably. So, An axe that increased your roll here? range. What? I, ha I had a hat that increased mine, but I didn't know about an axe. Yeah, I, I, have, a, I have a beautiful axe. Oh, wait. I wanted to come out here real quick and get myself an extra little magic thing. Anytime you see these stones, they have more magic, um, like more spells in them, basically. I'm going to go ahead and rest, too, to get my health back. I don't think this matters, but... I'll just take the death here. Nice death warp, me. <laughs> All right, so I got really strong level 38 armor. I got an axe that helps me roll faster. Now I'm going to do the rest of the game. Jeez. Yeah, you're going to end up, like, blowing past me <laughs> at some point. Like, it's probably I'll probably have a lead for a while. Um, right. And then when I start, like, dying to things is when you'll... Uh... I, this might be a waste of time, but I also kind of went out of my way to get... Uh, to get... Um, white robes. That way, my AI could have better healing. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see if that's even yeah, worth it or not. Yeah, I had a hat like that but... last time, but I forgot to take notes about where I got various items, which was silly. And honestly, it wasn't so much forgetting as just feeling like I got enough of them naturally throughout the game that I didn't need to worry about it. But I was right. also killing more enemies than I would probably try to in this playthrough, so I'm going to tank the last of the damage here as I finish this guy off, because I think I'm going to level up here. Planned level ups, like, we're not going to have super planned level ups or anything, but they can be really helpful in an RPG, in any any RPG where they heal you, basically. I do love the, like, giant coffin guys. Because you can just make them run into spikes over and over. Mm -hmm. You have to. You can't attack them. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now I picked up story thing and we're gonna go deliver it to story character <laughs> oh come on that enemy's not even following me okay good there we go 
Now, I recommended this game as a game we should do because I played like a brief five minute demo of it at PAX. Mm. And uh, me and Hobbs' good friend, uh, Katie, uh, we we did a we did a co-op of it. And that part that I was just at where I was rolling through the spikes, she was always a step ahead of me. So I was always trying to follow her <laughs> and I would hit the spikes every time and die a horrible death. That's, That's all I remember of this game. It's pain and suffering. Much like the puns. <laughs> okay, so ice... Um, one of the other advantages of using the ice spell is that it'll actually slow the enemies, so that's why I like leaving it on the character that I'm using melee for. You can actually swap your spells to any of the characters, to either of the characters, that is. Yeah, I think the only the only things that are restricted are the starting gear, like the cat armor and the dog armor. I think those are the only ones. Right. And those are pretty weak, so I don't think either of us bothered with that. <laughs> all right, I I upgraded my fire thing once because that's all I could afford. <laughs> yeah, I, to do I it think more. I did, I did that for the ice. <laughs> I upgraded that once. I might upgrade magic more later. There are some enemies that are more resistant to magic than they are to physical attacks and so on, or and vice versa. Yep. That's what I meant to say, but. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet or not. Uh, that gets me a slightly better weapon. Probably, honestly, not worth it, but we're going to spend <laughs> Rocky, no. the moment to equip these. Uh, so let's put that on, and then, nope, whoops, that on. So now the, I've now made the cat um, a mage character, so it's going to have half the health, but it will, uh, it has half health, but it can, like, attack from range, basically. Ah, whoops. Rolled the wrong way. I'm already getting pretty I low. do wish that the rolls could be a little more, like, perfected, but... Yeah, I also felt like the attacks are sometimes hard to see in the middle of all of the, <laughs> the effects right. and everything. But... How much of, a like, staves did you end up using? I just kind of I, threw I whatever that, like, made the most stats sense onto the cat. All uh, right. <laughs> I noticed that when I when I tried it out, there's a lot of times where, because since there's no like auto aim, mm. there's a lot of times where like I was shooting the absolute wrong direction. Yeah, there was a little bit of a homing effect it seemed, but um, for the most part, yeah, there was one that did like split attacks, and that seemed to have a similar effect for me as what you're describing, where at least like one of them would hit maybe, but the other wouldn't. So now we're just rolling to the next story area. Please let me talk. Can I roll away far enough? Nope. All right, so we're going to have to fix this enemy. And you can see, like, I'm level 9, and this enemy's level 15, so we're already fighting things that are higher level. That's going to be pretty much the whole game. <laughs> okay. Curses. He's too strong. I can't hurt him. <laughs> yeah, so now I am in a trial. Trial in which I must follow the light. Which just means go to the ones that have lampposts next to them. <laughs> uh, I was hoping I could maybe make this enemy move, but I actually don't think it will. So I'm just going to tank the hits. Uh, no, where is the... This is the one. Now these enemies can only be hit by magic. <laughs> or no, sorry, they, they can be hit by physical attacks, but they attack quickly enough where... You basically only want to hit them by magic. All right, so that's the weapon. Yeah, I one cycled the statue guy. Go me. Oops. Oh no. I forgot that like I didn't have this armor as early as I did in my playthrough. So when the like floating statue swung at me, he only did one damage. <laughs> this is nice. Ice staff. You should get early armor too, Hobbs. It's nice. <laughs> hey, I haven't died yet. I did, but that's because I was getting the armor. Oh, that's right. I'm going to have to attack this guy. And I have no mana. Okay. So we're going to attack him with some range. All right. Cool. No, don't fight Dude. the other one. <laughs> Let's just leave. No, stupid. Go, go away. I want to interact with this. Apparently, you accidentally did the correct speed strat. What? Yeah. Getting the armor. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh boy, I am low on health already. That is not good. 
<laughs> I'm gaming. I wonder what I forgot to do. Though. I also, I hate this like it's quasi escort mission that we have to do. Okay, okay, okay. So when one character dies, like is happening right now, the other one can revive them. Uh oh, I'm gonna get killed. Yep, that's game over. That's unfortunate. That was pretty slow too. I think like this is gonna be s slow to redo. Wait, what? Game, please. Uh, I activate the door. There we go. That was unfortunate. Uh, I was not paying enough attention to dodging attacks, which is one of those things. Ah, that yes, dodging when... attacks—a very important thing to do when you have health. <laughs> right. <laughs> There we go. Okay, this time I'm gonna not tank quite as much. I am currently at Kit's trial. Okay. Have yeah, I caught up yet? No, but you're not that far off. Yeah, level three lightning staff. Okay. When you swap characters, rather than like switching to where that character is, it actually will like pull the other character to you more or less like it'll swap their positions it's a, which is a little annoying because sometimes I wanted to try to use it to dodge but you can't <laughs> so I'm gonna get rid of the small fry this time so that I don't have as much that I have to worry about dodging oh oh did not want to tank those I got Leonardo's key yeah I think get that's it? what I'm because it's a right cat now. oh no I'm already low I have no mana. Okay, but now I only have one thing, one enemy that I need to dodge, so this should be a lot easier. I forgot to actually equip the healing spell that I picked up earlier, so I should probably do that at some point. You know, I haven't done that either. I should also not say it out loud so that Keys knows to do it. I don't even know if I have the healing spell. If you didn't pick it up, then you don't. <laughs> like well, you I don't. Pick it up. So I picked up those white mage robes for nothing. <laughs> Oh, get out. Okay. Run. Oh. Yes. Okay, good. Took him out this time. Whew. There we go. Got the level. So let's get the shard. Follow we need to collect light. a few of these shards for, again, plot reasons. And now I can yeah, roll so through. The plot was something that admittedly was hard for the both of us to follow because the puns were unbearable. <laughs> a little bit. I really want to upgrade my magic more. All right, so now I've got an like advanced roll that will actually damage enemies as you roll through them, which honestly is just it just kind of feels like extra little chip damage. It could be nice when you are just like rolling, like when you need to just kind of roll through and use fire or ice and keep moving because they're attacking too quickly. But other than that, I found that it just kind of was a little bit of chip damage, and that was about it. Oops. Okay. Ah, good old, good old Bahamut. So I do have a plan for my weapons and stuff, w weapon and armor, even if it's not like as thought out as yours. <laughs> oh, my, mine's pretty much already worn out, man. <laughs> I uh, yeah, I, I did a thing, Dude, and that that is that is my thing. Well, yeah, but like, so I I am planning to. Uh, to upgrade like all at once more or less right it's a matter of I keep going back and forth in my head on whether I want to upgrade uh, like weapons or armor because obviously for a speed run you often just want to level up weapons because you can then deal more damage and get rid of enemies a lot faster but in a semi blind speed run like this leveling up armor or investing time to get better armor like keys did can sometimes be the better option because it'll just mean dying less since we're not going to be perfect at dodging everything. We're not going to know enemy patterns like you would if you were doing a practice right. speed run. I'm going to spend the time. And it turns sleep. out that me doing that actually is, is the strat. <laughs> yeah. All right, I finally got my first shard. So here we go. Yeah, you're not that far behind me. I am heading over to the dog island right now. Another, I was going to say great speed game, but I'm not sure if that's accurate, but it's another speed game. 
Well, we're, we're talking about Animorphs, right? No, the Dog Island. <laughs> the Voolager yeah. Classic. Yeah, no, the Dog Island. It's Animorphs. You just use the dog and hope for the best. <laughs> okay, so I think in this, I just need to take out the small fry, basically, and just keep ignoring the other guy. Unfortunately, sometimes it can be a little hard to aim your attacks. Uh, now, ha ooh, ooh, have I you saved yet? Yeah, I've saved so a couple times. I don't think I have yet. <laughs> Probably should. I mean, it's mostly just for the heal, right? Like, if you game over, right. it just goes back to the beginning of the quest, so not that big a deal. I still have not equipped the healing thing. I should probably do that, and yeah, now I'm... Okay, now that one's dead, so I'm going to kite them away a little bit so that I can go and try to revive him. Got one of them dead. So the other thing that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to kite the enemy closer to this end because uh, at the end, after fighting the small fry, I have to move this guy to this end, so. I wasn't 100% sure if it would let me do that, but it did, so yeah. Now, to those of you at home, we almost last minute changed this to a co-op, but yes. it turns out the co-op has to be couch co-op, so that was out. And then Hobbs was like, oh, wait, but we can do couch co-op online because Steam is neat, and we're like, okay. So, uh... We tried it. We uh, tried We tried to make that work, and it was the most miserable experience on my end because I wasn't the host. There was like a full second of a delay. Yeah. It's fine for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, be I bet. Yeah, we decided not to uh, not to bother with that. So I am going to do one thing here, which is I'm going to pop over to this in order to activate fast travel for later. I actually don't even know if I'm going to use that or not, but... I want to have it just in case. See, my thing with the fast travel is I already know that like I'm going to try to set up a little bit of it, and then I'm going to completely forget. Can I do this now? No, he's not here yet. Okay. So I was trying to see if I could Cheat? skip having to talk to a couple people, but nope. going to have to talk to people to initiate the quest. Uh, and this time, I am going to finally equip the healing spell. Okay, so we can't go north because there are some enemies in the way. Reasons. We got to go do a fetch quest, literally. Get it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, boo. Boo! <laughs> ah. Right, I'm finally at the dog island. Nice. I'm about to go search for a bone. All right, if there's one pun in this whole game, I appreciate it. It's Hato Doggo. Do I really have to? Oh, man, I didn't know that. I got to go talk to the town person. I should stop nah. saying these things out loud. I'm just giving you no, it's fine. more of an I idea. need all the help I could get right now, Hobbs. You're the one with the armor. <laughs> <laughs> That's irrelevant, Hobbs. It's really not. I've died so much already. And by so much, I mean once, but still. All right, I finally saved for the first time. I didn't need to, okay, really but I did. wish these enemies would stay away. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is the guy I want to talk to. Nope. I'm pretty sure this is the guy I want to talk to. This is the person I wanted to talk to. Yes. Cool. So now I can go finally talk to a person who didn't exist before. Hello. We need to get some dog biscuits to distract the guards. Uh. And in order to do that, we have to go get a bone. Because RPG side quests. Or main quest in this case. Heck yeah. Get out of here. Main quest if you like side quests. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to try to bait this guy over here instead of instead of actually fighting him. See if I can get far enough away. Nope. Wasn't All right. We're going to fight you. It was you I need to talk to, right? Which one of you am I supposed to talk to? <laughs> now, the that AI in this it. game, while not entirely oh. useless, feels like it could be a little better. <laughs> They're, it's pretty useless. Don't yeah. don't give it credit, Hobbs. <laughs> Find the dog bone. I I do. Here? If no. there's one pun in these game in this game, I do appreciate it's the name of the locations. I can deal with those. <sighs> the dialogue, however, <laughs> dialogue's a whole new level. Hey, the dog bone. Okay, even the bone I need to actually fight the enemies for. Which, again, we're pretty underleveled, so this could go poorly. 
Um, so the heal spell, which I'm trying to use, there we go, requires quite a bit of mana. Oh, and is not instant, so yeah, already died from that. That's unfortunate. I'm hoping that me going for the armor and you going for the heal spell kind of balances each other out. Well, so the heal spell, now that you are can no longer, now that you're not there anymore, the heal spell is like right next to uh, the lioner. <laughs> it's like right when you first have to like realize that you can't fight him. Whoops. It's right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I already dropped the dog again. This is fine. Because now they're almost dead. So we'll just finish him off with the cat. Even though cats are objectively worse than dogs. And everybody knows this. Agreed. The game even knows it. Because I told it at one point. <laughs> yeah. I That's the best part. Is you can you can be like, hey, no, no, this is better. And they're like, eh, I can't argue. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't think it's going to be worth... All right, so unlike Hobbs, I didn't fight for the dog bone. Oh, you... I just picked it up. You were able to beat them away? Oh. Yeah. Man, you're, like, right, right behind me now. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Have dog bones, friends. Or dog biscuit, whatever. Oh, if you were already giving them to the guard, then we're tied. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, the guards just walked away. Yeah. Oh, I'm now man. in the I'm now in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> Go armor. Yeah, that armor is helping you out so much. Just being able to tank stuff. All right, all right, it's fine. Because soon my strats or you know very limited thinking <laughs> going into this race are going to come into play. But first, a couple more fights. Ah, can't find a moment to take a drink. Yeah, I wish my magic were a little higher right now, because I feel like I'd be sitting pretty. Ah, I always try to dodge just a little too late, so I'm trying really hard to learn that lesson from my casual playthrough and dodge a little sooner. Because I feel like if you can All dodge right, now, properly in this game... You when, can, when it tells you to find the far-fetched sands, let me tell you about how I went completely the wrong direction and searched for like 20 minutes. <laughs> really? Because I did not realize the map feature was a thing. Yeah, I didn't use the map on it either. It just said that it was close by. So I just went <laughs> nearby. Alright. So now we, of course need to fight our friend or our soon-to-be friend he's halfway dead for me Hobbs what? <laughs> I'm so happy with his armor what a good investment I don't even know no if wonder it's a speech well, uh, yeah it might have just been armor I don't know if it was because of damage or something too did that armor give you damage or is it just like no okay. well yeah no oh, I, I don't remember maybe I, I need know to that was switch very to the heavy fire. big armor <laughs> Maybe the ice is my downfall. Yeah, I've been using a lot of fire. I don't even have ice equipped. I have ice equipped on my AI. Yeah, that's what I have the fire on. I basically just have the opposite of you. I figured the slowed attacks would help me. Uh, okay. No, talk to me. Oh, man. Get out of here, you stupid cactus. Good old Hato Doggo. No, I don't want to upgrade my anyway, hot dog. Okay, Thanks. There we go. <laughs> Follow me. Yes, sure. Oh man, I'm so my plan was oh, no. to upgrade my weapons, but now I'm really tempted to just save all my money for upgrading armor. I just I want to upgrade magic. Like I, I've I've pretty much like decided on that. Yeah, magic is another good option. Magic seems really busted. Oh yeah, this part. All right, I'm I'm gonna commit. Maybe it's the wrong move, but I'm gonna commit to it. Okay, so we're gonna level this up as far as I can. I'd like all this money, please. Okay. I plan on spending a lot of it on the fire. So 
So now I'm going to take going the safety save from story spot just in to, case. to story spot. Oh, I cut this gone. armor is so good, Hobbs. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh yeah, don't roll yeah, into so... that barrier or you'll immediately die as I found out. Oh yeah, that's we... horrible. <laughs> Wait, no. Where how do I I don't remember. I got to go around again. So because because I have a little more experience in uh in RPGs than Hobbs does. As soon as I saw that the world was open when I first started, immediately the first thing I did was like, I wonder how much I can wander off. And then I found that giant cave that had level 90 plus things. Yes. Yeah, I was like, oh, there's got to be good stuff here, but I couldn't figure out how to get the stuff. And then as I played the game, I realized you could grab stuff if you bait people away. Yeah. So when I went to the store to get my groceries, I was like, I wonder if I could bait them away from there. See, I understand I, why you do so well with the think tank. <laughs> I realized that I could bait enemies away and stuff. I'm pretty sure I need to be in this cave. If not, then I'm going to lose a lot of time. Um, I realized I could go to high level areas, but I like went to one and died immediately. So I was just like, oh, it's not worth it. Silly me. Silly you. I got a bar to loot. Okay. <laughs> Thought about that. Okay. There we go. Let's see if this is useful. Um, yeah, that could be okay. Let's put that on. Uh, also, this game totally rips off from Legend of Zelda because these blue balls really hurt. I don't remember which way I need to go. Is it this way? Maybe it's this way. Yes. I can okay. give you I a tip if way. you would like. It was top right. <laughs> oh, shoot. Unfortunately, I went bottom right first, so but at least I got some better armor out of it. All right, so the joy of being able to revive your teammate. Also, I really like the fact that I put a staff on my second character because that meant I could attack at a distance while healing. Thank you for reminding me that I needed to upgrade their staff. Wait, no, don't do that. Hey, no, Hobbs, please. <laughs> so I'm going to now... I'm going to learn from you mid mid uh routing here and wait no i went the wrong way no i don't want to do this fight that there we go okay oops keep going this way oops yeah so i now switch the ice to the other character because it yeah, also oh, yeah. has an ice rod that deals more damage Hi, right, Hobbs. I gave you an opportunity to catch up. I went to the wrong room and I have to fight things. I can't even cheese it. <laughs> well, that's good. Not for me. But unfortunately, I don't remember which rooms or anything. Oh, wait. I think I do because oh, I went to the far one last time and it felt like it yeah, was wrong. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> that's what I did. Yeah. Okay. I remembered. It'd be great if my AI partner would actually use the spells while near the enemy at all. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so I'm pretty sure I need to fight all these I enemies, but died. I could be wrong. Well, good thing I saved. This might actually be faster overall because of that. Oh, rolled that in at the horrifying. wrong That was horrifying. All right, I'm hoping I can get a level up here soon. That was horrifying. All right, don't don't go that direction this time, me. You'll live longer. Okay. I don't know if there's any technique to the fighting as well, other than just like just swing at them. <laughs> uh, but that's what I mostly do. Let's quickly put this on the wrong character. There we go. Probably not worth the menu, but that's fine. I need to remember that I have the heal spell, so I'm just gonna build up my mana and use that. I'm gonna do that a couple times. Try to build my health back up. Because I am gonna have to do a little more fighting in this area if I remember correctly. Alright. There we go. Ow! That hurt. I'm in pain. I should really just switch to this character. Can I not? There we go. There we go. Yeah, I kind of want to... Need the key.
So now we're gonna leave. Um, yeah, as far as like RPGs go, I would say that this is a a more like kind of non-traditional one. If that makes sense. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, especially which, which kind of like makes it semi-blind raceable. Like RPGs are just hard to to do these kinds of races for in general. I'm gonna see if this is worth it. Uh, yeah, that was probably worth it. Um, yeah, that probably like is what kind of allows us to do that, do this race. But but at the same time, uh, it means that we don't really necessarily get to do the more interesting parts of RPG routing. You sometimes see. Yeah, like one of the things about RPGs in general that are like really amazing to watch, if you've never watched a speedrun of an RPG, is like just seeing like the menuing mm -hmm. like the optimization of like what to do my favorite thing about rpg routing is when you ha you pick up an item at the very beginning of the game and you don't use it until the end of the game <laughs> right that is one That's of my always an favorite one. things i probably should have been healing coming up to this fight but that's okay Yo, this big wolf oh. is really annoying that, to kill oh no i already okay well i already lost the dog <laughs> to the big wolf. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Come back, dog. Come back. Come back, dog. Come back, dog. Oh, you're so close. Okay. You're so close to dying. The dog Come is on. back. Come on, big bad wolf. Oh, why'd I roll into that? Game over. No! <laughs> that was a really bad game over. Hooray, I killed the wolf. Oh, no. So, those of you who don't know, that's uh, you're, you're taking a huge lead now. <laughs> Hobbs is on controller. Ethan. Oh, these are still open, actually. Okay, that was not quite as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, once you get the keys in this, you're pretty fine. I mean, I still love how the sucks, chest but... that requires all the monsters isn't opening because I did not get anywhere close to killing all the monsters. The Hato Doggo shows up to save the day. I think it was around this time in my casual playthrough that I realized that, oh, hey, like, this is actually a kind of fast game. Actually, this guy resists, um, this guy resists magic, so I should probably just use my magic for healing. Ah, did not want to get hit by that, though. That slows my attack. Now, it did crack me up this part of the game where he's like, oh yeah, the canines are here. They're going to ambush us. And then you walk out and there's literally one right there. Waiting on the oh, no, he, All right. he hit me with ice. Now he's oh, down. it's horrible. Just had to get back in the rhythm of him. All right. It was all an illusion. <laughs> What the, the the story or your gameplay? <laughs> the story. I like how it was, <laughs> yes. it's all an illusion. The one guy's like, "Please don't kill the messenger," and like rolling through him once literally kills the yep. messenger. <laughs> yep. All right, so now we get to leave using our escape rope. Uh, wait, that's I the was wrong even. Game. I was even trying. <laughs> I was even trying not to hit him, and then I rolled into him. I was waiting for that to hit your ear. <laughs> All right, let me get to now. You and I here. both both asked and did the same exact thing at this part. Whereas, like, you can take a longer but safer way, and we're like, can we just roll through? The answer is yes. You can totally just roll through. Yes. All right. Uh... It's pretty nice. Yep. We gotta talk, talk more. There's a lot of talking in this game. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade again while I'm here. I'm just, I'm just committing, man. I'm gonna commit, commit to upgrading this thing. I'm now in the void. Ah, oh, I actually do have to fight this. Okay. There we go. Not a very hard fight, but not one that I realized I actually had to do. Huh, so this is really weird. 
to look at. I remember when I saw you at this part, and it was like the three wolves at once. Mm -hmm. Like only one of them had had a level, but on mine, all of them have a level. <clears throat> yeah. I know what you're talking about. That is weird. I wonder why mine didn't. Oh crap. Oh dear. Oh, everything's horrible. Oh wait, I can't go around that way. I need to go this way. So the game, yeah, it wants you to kind of go another path here, but because it says this way is too dangerous, but if you just kind of roll past everything, it's not too dangerous. Rolling's OP. Oh no, my cat's dead. No. <laughs> Oh, no. I, that's like one of the worst places you could have died. Okay. Well, you know. Don't mind me. Oh, just, uh, no. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh, please don't die. Being really sad right now. Get up. Get up. I need you. Need you. This is horrible. Oh, how? How the heck? Okay. Well, that was weird. Luckily, I was planning on saving right here anyway, so not a big deal. Oh, yeah, so now we're in the zero dimension. Yeah, just because now, now we're here. We are. <laughs> are you you're out of the zero dimension, right? You're already done. This. No, I'm still fighting. Oh. Oh, yeah. All of mine have have level numbers this time. This fight's long and arduous, Hobbs. My cat also died at one point in time. Oh, oh that was a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, no. My cat's dead. Again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm going to do my best to not die at all in this. I'm going to do a lot of, like... So the one nice thing about me upgrading my weapon is that it's really useful for this part of the game, if nothing else, because... This guy resists magic. It may or may not be the right call overall. We'll see. But it is nice for the, these fights in particular. I guess I got slow vis on That was interesting. Okay. What also trying me? to get a level up there, but not quite. There's a blue ball that was just out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm in so much danger. I'm going to commit to the swinging out of him here rather than dodging. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. All right. I'm done with him. Are you, have you beaten him? No, I'm not. <laughs> my, uh, my, my weapon isn't upgraded. Yes. Okay. Should have taken my opportunity. Oh yeah. Now we need to just snag the King shard. I think we needed three of these if I'm not mistaken overall. Uh, another thing to note, because it's going to be coming up here fairly soon, um, is if this is your first time watching the first step, we actually do take breaks on this, um, both to like run ads and stuff, so that way we can keep GDQ Outfix running, but also to let you know that like if you are someone who is looking to... Oops, I want to go over here. Uh, looking to start speedrunning, but you don't have the time to do like full runs of games um, Ouch. all the time you don't have to you can do things in pieces that's totally acceptable when you're just like starting out and trying to learn things so oh was Ops, that I the died. wrong that <laughs> might have been I might have made the wrong one oh okay. no Here's I'm the... dumb I died <laughs> it's okay I'm doing side content this is the one thing that I was considering doing and I'm gonna do it because it doesn't take too long and I think it'll just give me a nice little boost for now Right, I'm actually going to roll back and upgrade my, my weapon. Okay, so really I'm going to pick the same things I picked last time, even though I don't know if it mattered. It, you might just always win this rock, paper, scissors thing, but either way, it'll give me a little mask, which will give me some extra health. Yes, I'd like to upgrade my hot dog, Let's please. Not do this. Okay. Yeah, that warp was probably a lot slower. Oops. Oops. Keys, if you fast travel back after you're, when you're leaving the dog island, make sure you fast travel to the very bottom left one.
All right, more plot. All right, I, I spent all my money to upgrade my weapon. <laughs> I wanted to upgrade my magic, but clearly I need the weapon upgrade now. <laughs> That's what I did. I spent all my money twice. All right, now I'm going to quickly put the hat on that I got. All right. Uh, oh, man, I'm so sad. Now we need to go per north of the capital. Par for the... Near the ocean, and then next to the Par trees. for the course with the first step. Keys has big lead, then throws away. <laughs> It's okay, I game over it a couple times too. Uh, okay, I don't remember how much of this we need to actually do, so I'm gonna go this way first. Man, that was miserable. That was a lot of damage. Oh no, oh no, that was a lot of, I oh need, no. I need you to die a couple of times for me. I'm gonna try not to, cause that would actually send me back pretty far. I'm okay with that. That was so many enemies. It's so much damage. Okay, okay, it's fine. We're just kiting the enemies. There we go. Roll. Attack, roll. Oh, no! Don't die! I died. Okay, well. Hooray! <laughs> so we get to do some rolling again. I mean, oh no, I'm so sorry, Hobbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, don't roll that way. The the part that sucks about being underleveled and dying uh, is that you have to rewatch all these cutscenes. I wish I had, like, taken Makes you feel any better? I'm probably going to die right. again because I got too cocky. <laughs> also, my teammate is dead. Time mm. to see this time if there is a save point nearby. Uh, there is. And I'm hoping that'll maybe, in case I die again. Just give me a level. I'm never close to. I'm hoping. I was about to say, I'll just get a level up and not die, but I'm nowhere close to a level <laughs> up, so that idea's gone. Oh, right. I forgot. I always forget you can actually, like, see your level up bar. Because I just didn't know. That's called it. an experience bar. Right, sorry, yes, experience bar. I didn't, like, notice <laughs> it at first, so. It's okay, I didn't notice the map. Oh, he he doubles. I died again? What? What did he do? My AI was dumb. Oh, this come time on. We're going to go down because I'm not sure I needed to go. Horrible. I don't think I needed my to. My AI let me down. I, I knew I was being risky, but my AI was like, me too. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to keep using spells for healing. Barely dodging attacks that I probably should have gotten hit by. Eh, I got hit by that time. Oh, no. You know what? Let's just swap characters. For a little bit. I'm gonna bully this character in particular. He's he's away from the group. Ah, no. Please. Roll away. Roll away. Roll away. Please stop dying. Oh, no. Just, no, don't fully die. Oh, no. Now I'm panicking. All right. Ooh, I'm doing a lot better not... when I do this thing called dodging. Yeah, that's what I'm having to do right now, exclusively. <laughs> okay, I got the, got the ally back. Oh, on. the whiffs. The whiffs. <gasps> I swung like 30 times and hit nothing. <laughs> These bats are like actually really annoying. I died again. Please, no game over. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're not gonna die. We're gonna get the res. I, uh, I know we're not talking very well right now, but that's because dying. I finally beat the wolf, oh, dude. There we go. <laughs> that was long and arduous. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll okay. grab that in a second. I think second. we need Let to, grab all this check this chest. Does some more magic damage if I want to equip that. Oh, boy. All right, now we can leave. If I remember correctly, you have to go, like, way down here, yeah.
Gonna save real quick, just in case. I think I'm about to turn in this quest and get a level up anyways, but just in case, we're gonna save. In case I did something stupid and, like, died on the way. I wonder if the side quest you're doing is the one I'm gonna do. I'm not doing a side quest anymore. I'm doing the main stuff. Uh, did I, you finish the side stuff already? Yeah, the side one was really, really fast. <laughs> Oh, so it's probably not the one I'm doing then, because mine takes a little while. Mine involved, my side one involved no combat, let me put it that way. Oh, mine does. Yeah. Uh, all right, so now that I have... Okay, so now I need to go to the lighthouse, if I remember correctly, because I need to learn water walking. Is this the way to the lighthouse? I think it wasn't. It sure wasn't. All right, let's go back there. Make sure to expect mistakes. When you first start speedrunning and be okay with that. Absolutely. Oh, come here. I'm tempted to spend some money to upgrade armor, but I think I'm just going to spend all my money on upgrading weapons. So now we need to learn how to walk on water, which is, it says is a side quest, but is actually not. <laughs> or at least that. I'm assuming you had to do this too, right? Like the water walk. I stuff. I did. Yeah. Whether we have to or not, I don't know. Right. But I did. That's a fair point. You might not technically have to. Where the heck oh am boy. I going? Hobbs, I'm lost. No. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Well, already died well, there. This is That's not the way I was supposed to go. So last time I had a few more spells. And some better items, oh, no. I believe. I wanted here. I, I am I not out DPS chose now, them, but... so we're gonna go for the heal. Oh no! I was like, all right, I'm gonna see if I could start the water walking early since it's technically it's a side quest. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, we died. I'm glad I saved. <laughs> I saved, Where hoping I can skip some of the the dialogue, which I can, because I figured I might die. All right, this time we're gonna play it a little safer. Am I blind? I'm gonna pull these away a little bit. I'm gonna bait out their attacks and then we're going to attack them. While their healing is not happening, try to burn them down. There we go. Literally burn them down. There we go. Went much safer that time. Much better overall. Hobbs, I can't find this final shard thing. That was unfortunate. It took two hits really quick. Uh, the final the shard thing. What are you talking about? Yeah, the final shard is north of the castle near the ocean and next to the trees of black. Oh, oh, yeah. It's just north of the castle next to the ocean and near the trees of black. <laughs> but I've gone there so many times. Use the map. There's a map. I've, I've used the map. Wait, is it on the other side of the trees? It's on the and right side of the trees. It's on the right. Yes. All right, that explains everything. You know, right next to ah, the ocean. I literally barely missed the trigger. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Cute. I'm upset about that one. All right. We got about five minutes to the break. Just to remind everybody. All right, so now we get a cap that increases our roll distance. I am probably going to leave that off for now. Well, actually, there's a lot of rolling that happens, so I'm going to put that on Dang right it. now. And you would think that the side quest is over because it did the thing where it said side quest completed. But we don't know how to walk on water yet. So we're actually going to keep doing the side quest. Get out of my way. I'd say probably... Right, I think I just going to take the death here. For us, um, the most important thing, as you're seeing from Keys, is like... Not dying and remembering where to go, which is where notes can really come in handy in, uh, especially in an RPG speedrun. Let's go see if this is worth it. Hey, yeah. my excuse is the trigger was apparently like one roll north. Okay, so I'm going to try to get these to deal a lot of damage to themselves. Yes, because that's going to do more damage than I will quickly. And then I'll also attack. Oops, did not mean to roll into that. I think I rolled into spikes, but that's okay. 
that dealt a lot of damage. That's less okay. All right, we're good. <laughs> there we go. Now I got the page. And the artifact. So we got one more piece of this side quest left to do. Uh, that's right, I can't open that. So I'm gonna have to move back. This is where having the roll that goes a little further is really nice. There we go. Oh, what? Should level up again from this because we're very under leveled, so like all these quests are just giving us a bunch of experience. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. It keeps pointing over there, but I actually need to go back to the... Ow, ow, spikes hurt. Hobbs. <laughs> need to go back to the governor here. All right, now I remember dying to this part quite a bit. Just because of, like, how underleveled we are and stuff. Now I go through the trees. <laughs> we still go, like, under the trees, really. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Right. I'm going to go take a detour to save in case I die. I don't want to have to watch all those animations again. And that save point's, like, right there, so. Paid off once. Figure we might as well do it again. See, this is what I thought I was supposed to do. I missed an entire step earlier, and then I got lost. So I was thinking too far ahead. Don't think too far ahead when you're speedrunning. <laughs> Focus on what's directly in front of you. Trust me. I'm an expert. Okay, so all right, yes, I'm yes, going yes. to take out all the small fry first. Because while I think we might only have to fight the big guy here, it can be really obnoxious to fight him while the other enemies are still here. So, Can we talk about how following the trail is like not even going the right way? Yeah, for the whole side quest bit. Now, I, this guy has a shield, because uh, you were probably noticing I was doing like very little damage there for a little bit. There it is again. I don't know if it's a timed shield. It's very similar to it the is. shield spell you can pick up. Okay, it's time. It's, it's definitely time. Yeah. Yep. So I'll attack them just to try to like build mana up, but this is going pretty well so far, so I actually am not too worried. Since I took care of all the small fright early, I'm using a heal to be safe, but... Sure wish I had a heal, Hobbs. <laughs> I, uh, I'm so glad that I I went back, because I almost left without it. I didn't remember where it was, Hobbs. I didn't remember where it was either. I just happened to like notice it as I was leaving. Ooh. Okay. Let's let him attack once. So this guy's supposed to be harder, I think, but like it's actually easier because he has no friends with him. <laughs> Which is technically the theme of the game. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so leveling up stuff, in, uh, leveling up a weapon that has crit chance on it seems to be helping. All right, gave the governor the pages. There's the ranger cap. Pretty well. I still don't have a helmet, so I'm equipping that right away. That was now my, I roll even farther. My diversion. <laughs> I have the like, axe. My side quest that I did was for a... Uh, a helmet or yeah for like uh -huh. a hat that gave me just a little bit of a little boost of health but i i switched it for the the roll that goes further distance so but you have like an extra far one right so sure do yeah that's weird um hello please let me oh wait no yeah, that's right i don't want to go in there i want to actually roll in the water because we can walk on water now Whew. Dang, what's it like to make progress, Hobbs? <laughs> well, it's kind of short-lived because I think we're about to take a break. So, mm. uh, whenever you're good, you just let me know. Yeah, let me just get out of this uh, dungeon real quick. I just need to roll out after this cutscene. I'm getting the, like, sigil or whatever. By the way, this is the what? part of the it's game where we answer that dogs are greater than cats, and the game rewards us for our correct answer. <laughs> I one of these I want to answer no to though I don't know if it matters or not but that's why I've been reading them now I think the rest I just answered yes on yeah all right I'm I'm voting we break before I jump into this fight so okay ready? I just finished okay. so I'm good for three, a break three two one pause 
All right. With that, we're going to go to a little ad break here. I uh, just want to let everybody know that the GDQ hotfix and shows like the first step and tree fort and stuff like that are all supported by your subscriptions and your bits and your ad views and stuff like that. So if you've got that Twitch Prime sub laying around, maybe go ahead and consider using it on us, especially if you don't want to watch the Coke gaming ad for like the 900th time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but a quick announcement before we go to the break too. Um, remember everybody that the AGDQ 2020 offsite volunteer applications are still open and they're open until December 15th. So only three days left. So, uh, if you won't be at the event, but you still want to help out by doing things like potentially being a chat mod or something like that, then check out gamesdonequick.com for more information on that. Like I said, we're going to go to a short break and we'll be back in just a few minutes. See you all on the other side. And welcome back to not the sprint. I was honestly about to say the sprint. Really? I, I now understand completely. Yeah. And you weren't even on the show. Oh, well, you were I, on I, once, I watched the show. I watched the show a lot. I guest starred once. That was your mistake. You got me involved. Yes, yes. That was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get right back into it, just want to point out, we did mention how your guys' subs and sitting through the ads helps us out. Um... Some of the shows include things like Tree Fort, which is going to be this upcoming Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, there's RNG next week, which is a random number generation uh, hosted by Skybills. I was actually part of that show once. It was a lot of fun. Chris beat me, though, so let's not talk about <laughs> that. But uh, that's uh, that's Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern once again. And now that that's out of the way, you ready to go, Hobbs? Yeah, absolutely. All right. In three, two, one, go. All right. I'm just... I'm menuing right now. I'm jumping like straight into a boss fight, I think. Yeah. Alright, so cool. similar to the last one, I want to just take them on 1v1 so that I can be dodging easier on myself, so I am going to focus first and foremost on taking out the small fry. Oh, that was a big chunk of damage and a lot of freeze and stun, apparently? A thing I didn't know was in this game? Okay, but we got rid of one of the small fry. Oh yeah, I think I think lightning gives stun, but like we don't really get much in terms of lightning. Well, I got stun. All right, so my That's my artifact is shaking the world right now to kind of tell you where I'm at. Oh no! Oh, this is not good. I'm very low. Please don't die. Can we talk about how the governor's like uncle or something is just like super buff? <laughs> uh, well, he's supposed to be like a hero or something. He's like his old great-grandfather. Something like that. Yeah, he, and he's buff as heck. <laughs> Alright. Okay. 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 We need to take this enemy out before anything else happens. Good. Not enough mana to heal, unfortunately. Gonna wait on these attacks. I do both like and hate the fact that like the mana system is, oh, you get mana back if you attack. Yeah, I, I really like it. It's just that it's rough when you're trying to use it to heal. And like, yeah, I, when range. I was running through casually and I, I had, I had my heal spell. I can't tell you how often it was like, really spoopy. Right. Okay. Should be good. So it looks like he resists. I don't know if he resists all magic or just ice. Also, I keep just like barely trading. Oh no, I came over. Oh, I was just saying how I just was trading off between which one of my characters was dead. <laughs> well, that time it was both of them. That's unfortunate. Um, all right, now we got to do this whole thing again. Ah, oh, he's almost dead. Okay, good. Now I'm going to beat up the, the buff great grandpa. <laughs> No oh, idea. His outfit makes me think like Popeye as well. <laughs> he seems like a rough and tumble sailor. Right. This is this is Cat Popeye after he ate his spinach. Yeah, I believe that. I think that's accurate. Okay, gotta dodge the orbs. How did you feel about the fact that this game has like the red dodgeable things and then also still has like regular attack projectiles and stuff? I. I'm okay with it. Like, I, I do like the fact that, like, the game shows you, like, how you can dodge things. You can get a little better at it. 
I like, I like the accessibility of something like that. I was definitely a big fan of the the red dodgeable attacks, like the larger attacks, but the smaller projectiles are always the ones that end up, end up killing me, so <laughs> right. I hate them a lot more. All right, now then, hmm. I think I'm going to take a massive, 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 massive detour. Now that we can walk on water. I think my healing got canceled Cause, somehow. Because like, like, like I mentioned before, in the same way that I found the... Uh, the armor, I explored a little bit because I was like, okay, I can explore all the world. I found a dev island where you need to be level 999 really? according to their recommendations. And it was horrible, and that's not what I'm going for at all. They murder you. It's the worst. <laughs> dev island. But wow. I did find this area where it's super goofy. Cool. It's it, it has a level 200 monster. Okay. Is that like a sea creature? Because I might have found it's, the same it's, thing. It's one of the basics. It's like it's like the basic enemy, except oh, okay. he's level 200 with like every freaking ability on the planet. Oh, all right. <laughs> Not oh, the same one then. Also, I just got my final shard. Beat the boss on the second try. Nice. So now we're going to talk to friends. Can't I'm trying to bait this course. level 200 away from the chest so I could grab the chest. <laughs> ah, it hurts. Oh my, it hurts. <laughs> oh, does it now? Let's see, your it level so probably painful. 30, 30 something. <laughs> oh yeah, so this is um, the Cyclops creature that is really the one, the puppeteer controlling everything. Because you thought oh, this was going to be right. a nice, simple little RPG story. Nope, there's time travel. It's full-on, like, JRPG-inspired kinds of story. <laughs> right. There's multiple timelines. So that we've actually been fighting ourselves from another timeline. Possibly. I don't remember which one I have to say no to. Yeah, I don't even but know if you say... have to. I just said no to the, like they can't live in harmony or whatever, right? Also, we have to find a way out of the zero dimension, which I'm pretty sure just means rolling away as far as possible before the game tells you to come back, basically. Now we're going to fight, and the fight's over. Is not right, great. I'm going to equip my, uh... this. I'm going to equip this. So I got a jester suit. <laughs> And that gives you... It gives you everything. It bonuses everything. It's beautiful. Oh, no. Well, we're going to find out if Keys' investment into the gear ends up being worth it. You still have to get the final shard, right? Yep. Okay. I'm fighting Blue Bahamut right now. <laughs> All right. Ah, I hate the wind minis. spell. It's so annoying. See, now I had that spell and really enjoyed using it. Um, but I forgot to pick it up this time. And honestly, it probably was not worth picking up, so. Alright, Blue Bahamut's almost dead. Blue Bahamut's dead. <laughs> nice. Nice level up after the fight. I think this is the final shard. Yeah, the final wow, shard. So you, yeah, you must have beat him really fast. That was I died to that once. The jester suit, Hobbs. The jester yeah, suit. Yeah, apparently. Uh oh. Now I'm scared again. <laughs> Cause I'm fight. I'm fighting the twins right now. The future. Uh, future us or alternate timeline us or dark us. Wait, no, no. These are the, not us, but the. The other ones. I I, I can't even think. Of the, the <laughs> plot. I'm fighting dark dog and cat. I believe those are us. No, I, th I think it's actually... hot doggo and. <laughs> and Kit Kat. I don't even know anymore. I, I I think, no, I think they have a different, well, no, yeah, they, they have ones you can fight. I know that, like, the boss ones, I think, are just us. Right. And we're, like, yeah, I'm not fighting, plucked uh, from some, an alternate uh, timeline or whatever, yada, yada. Hot Odago and, and Kit Kat dark versions. <laughs> and now we're all friends. Or, I'm sorry, fur friends. Fur friends. Uh... <laughs> Gonna go ahead and heal, even though I don't think I need to at this point. Just 
which need to roll all the way. Whoops. Is this the correct one? Yeah, this is the correct way. Well, that is dark everything. It's just kind of implied that, like, apparently being a good guy is a very rare trait in this universe. Right. Because everyone's bad. Alrighty. Uh, there we go. I'm on the screen that has dark kit and dark dog. I'm trying to remember the way I'm supposed yeah, to get that's there. that's not good. You saved way too much time on me. I'm sad. All right. So we got a key. We got to take care of these three caves now. Which I remember, like, this one's kind of annoying. And then the other two are, like, really easy. Can I? Nope. All right. I have one regret in how we're playing this right now, is that my magic is not upgraded as much as I want it to be. Right. I still need to upgrade my weapon some more as well, I think, but I am saving that. Let's see what's in here. If it's what I think it is, yeah, it'll help. Wait, no, that's the wrong blade. Dang. I was like, it'll help my blade. <laughs> nope, it helped the wrong blade. Let's also see if we can get a little more money from this. Awesome. They're friends. No, get out of here. <laughs> These enemies, come on. Come over here. I don't want to fight you. Uh, but I need you to also come over here. All right, so I'm going to try to just bait these enemies over here, which I have not been doing very much because I don't want to fight them. I think it's going to take way longer. Let me out. Yes, good. Uh, save again to get full health and mana. Now we're going to go in here. The Cave of Mercy, where what you need to do is get everything to die. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Isn't that the greatest? Yeah. I thought that was kind of funny. Oops. Nope. Let's roll the other All right. Way. So I'm going to go ahead and save because it's been a while. Yada, yada, yada. There we go. Oh, this enemy. Just die. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm supposed to talk to you first. Go. I just tanked the spikes just to get it to to die. All right, I'm going to check this chest real quick, just in case. Oh, hey, that's the I white mage ribs. I got the key of valor. You know what? Let's... I might put that on myself, actually. Because I'm using the health. And it gives me some extra health. Um, All right, I was stuck behind the save point. You've been catching up way too much. I'm really sad. Tell you, it's, it's the joy of RPGs. T take a little bit of time investment to get a... Yeah. I was like, I went out of my way for that armor. I went out of my way for this jester suit. Not poo. Oof. So these guys resist physical attacks like at the beginning of the, of the game, but... I need to attack them just to get my mana back. Oh, wow, I'm very, very low. How are there still more? Okay, what is in here? Nope. I would very much... Okay, well, I, was, I just was about to say I would very much like to not die, and then I immediately died, so... <laughs> After every cave, I keep going to the save spot. Yeah, me too. Unfortunately, I'm too scared. Yeah. Ah, that hurt. Okay, good. I respawned. All right, this time we will save our mana for the healing spell. There we go. And we got a level up. Okay, so could have used it on damage, but that's fine. All right, now we got the key to the tomb. All right, I got the key to the tomb. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? That was so sad. <laughs> oh, I gotta fight these guys because they're in the way. No! Oh, they were in the way. I good thing my magic's leveled up. There we go. All right, cool. All right, my partner's about to die, so that's a good enough reason for me to heal. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna use the safe spot. There we go. 
and then go into the tomb. Into the tomb. Dang it! <laughs> you passed me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Jester suit! Yeah, apparently that was the call. Alright, and we're gonna get our water walking back from this, if I remember correctly. Yep. I just love how this is basically just a Disney movie. Like, oh, friendship. Yeah. <laughs> So level 51 right now, we're going to end the game somewhere in like the low 70s. 51? Or 60s, so. I am. Are you not? No. What are you? Oh, well, now I'm 53 because I finished the quest. Well, but... okay. well, I'm 54 now that I finished I, the quest. I, so. ah! I'm only one above you. <laughs> Relax. I'm, I was, what have you done? I was wearing a suit for the longest time. I don't think I still am. Or maybe I still am. I don't know. That gave me extra experience. Oh, that's fair. So... Uh, I keep bouncing back and forth between my jester hat and my ranger hat just so I can increase my rolls. Yeah, I've just been using the range one. Um, oh, I don't remember where we go next. Okay, let's go follow. Follow the I'm, little character. Where, where, you, where are you taking me? Where are you taking? Why are you going slow? Why did you slow down? It is quite slow, isn't it? Yeah. So okay, when More you get plot. to the when you get to the scene that has uh, the two jesters, mm -hmm. I'm wearing the blue outfit. What? Where? Must have been so far away. Okay, I'm sure there's a much faster way to. Do I'm sure I could have just used the warps, but that's okay. Oh I'm yeah. Just gonna roll I didn't anyway. Think about that. <laughs> yeah, I I. There's just no point. I know what I'm doing if I do it this way. I honestly don't know if, like, the warps that we've been to would have actually been faster. I'm sure there's some cases where it would be faster, but since I have the max roll and the water right. walking, I just don't see the point. Man, apparently I should have uh, searched around a little more <laughs> when playing this casually. I just kind of went yeah. and barely did any side stuff. Ah, ah, I rolled into... Hobbs, I'm in pain! <laughs> I rolled into a cactus. <laughs> All right. Quest complete. We're going to go this way now. And I really want to get upgrades. Oh, okay, yeah. So here's the sea monsters I was talking about. That just did half my health while I was rolling by. <laughs> oh, new spell. What was this? This might have been the wind spell. No, this is the lightning one that I don't know if I ever used. All right, you. I want to spend the rest of my money. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> Even though I maybe there should use it on magic at this point, but... I, I probably, honestly, 1,000% should have used it on magic, but I instead upgraded my axe. Yeah. The one thing is that the game, like, does upgrade your magic for you at some point, kind of. Like, story-wise, right at the end. But not a ton. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so let's upgrade this all the way. Now our ninja katana does 96. And we're going to do more rolling. If I remember correctly, this is where we got to go into a cave. I don't remember the right way to go in the cave, though. Uh, I am tempted to see if there's a save point nearby real quick. I think it's... I don't think there is. Uh, oh, but I can go get the wind spell. I think it's just this spot. Let's I remembered! Yes! Deviate really quickly. Hobbs, I'm this. gaming! Unless this is the mana spell, which could still also be useful. Well, since I'm currently in the I lead, think I, I guess I'll say this. Game. What did you do? I, I rolled into a thing and examined it, and... Now nothing is happening, and I can't even open the menu. Mm. Um, mm. Well, when's the last time Bob. I saved? That's unfortunate. All right, I'm going to have Bob's. to close my game. Bob's no. Yep, I definitely saw flock the game. Cool. That's a well. fun way to lose time. <laughs> All right, so while, while he's going through softlock hell, hello. We we are Keysron and Hobbs here with uh, The First Step, a show that's trying to encourage you guys to pick up speedrunning. Don't do what he does. <laughs> I don't know what I did. What did you do? So sad. All I did was roll. 
If, you, if you're not familiar with speedrunning, you just learned terminology today. Soft locking. It's where the game doesn't actually freeze, but for all intents and purposes, you might as well be frozen. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually probably more of a hard lock, to be honest. I couldn't do anything, but it was still just like making. Here, in in the interest stuff. of fairness, I will I will sit here for thirty seconds. Thank you. I, I will take this time to explain the show a little more. Yeah, so there you go. we are doing what's called semi-blind races. So what we mean by that is Hobbs and I have played the game very briefly. We usually give ourselves about an eight-hour time limit before the show, and we set a hard cap of about four hours for the show. So we take the knowledge that we discover without looking at any outside resources. We don't watch any other runs. We don't like go to any on any websites unless we're like absolutely 1000% stuck. Uh, we'll help each other out a tiny bit if one of us gets stuck. Hobbs has done a really excellent job of encouraging me whenever I've gotten frustrated. But we I, I got do this. I'm back to where I was, by the way. So okay. Keep moving. We, we, we do this just to kind of show you that it's really easy to pick up speedrunning. All you have to do is just play the game uh, and give it a second go. Now, sometimes we're really okay at it, and sometimes we're really not okay at it. <laughs> okay. A uh, good, good example would probably be Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Yeah. If I remember Titanfall. correctly, I don't actually need to talk to the, the fairy friend. So I didn't, and we're going to find out if I was wrong. <laughs> Yay. I was correct. You and then he soft locked it. again. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I threw the extra spells that I picked up onto the cat. Now, there are a bunch of golden chests around that require a golden key. Did you ever find a golden nope, key? Nope. Never found a golden key. I was Not like, for a how single many one chests there end. are, you'd think they'd be more abundant, but I never found a single one. It's probably just really like side quest dependent. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Also, I assume when leaving Lupus's tomb, you just have to go back out the same way you come in, right? <laughs> Through the cave. That was the only. That's way I what think. I did. I don't know if there's a faster way, but that's what I did. Yeah. So we are definitely approaching the end of the game here. There's not a whole lot left. I am I am back in the Negaverse. I'm gonna take out King Kitty first. I am going back to Hotto Doggo. Hotto Doggo. Alright. Wait, hold on. If I'm dressed up as the Jester, can't I just switch with that one and like surprise attack him? <laughs> that would be good. Uh, do I have any money? I might. Yeah, we'll get two more upgrades in there. Why not? Now, I do think it's funny that when you fight the cat final boss, mm -hmm. um, he summons minions and they help him. But when the dog summons minions, the minions are like, nah, we don't like this anymore. Yeah. And they leave. <laughs> All right. I'm going to save real quick. I am I think I shouldn't fast travel here. I feel like fast travel is actually going to be slower. I, I didn't, and I felt like it was slow, but I mean, hmm. I also didn't know like where I should fast right, travel. Fine, I'll fast travel then. We'll we'll let the audience get to see the comparison. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Oh man! Stay stay away from me. I need to revive my 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 number one. No! And the one nice thing is I can get go away. straight over the water. Hobbs, you know it's what? horrible. That was fairly fast. Uh, Hobbs, it sucks. Wake up. <laughs> All right, I'm about to go <laughs> oh, fight. Oh, God, I'm dying in the game and in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go fight oh, no. Lioner. So Lioner is where my strategy really is going to fall apart pretty hard because it is resistant. The, uh, the Lion is, like, resistant to physical attacks but weak to magic. Um, and I have been pumping physical attacks the whole time. So we'll see how kill his minions. bad of a call it was. All right, all his minions are gone. Hooray. Okay, so that was a mana spell, by the way, that my ally used that refreshed some of my mana. Used it again. Sweet. And I'm pretty sure I just need to go straight forward. We are going to wait one more. There we go. Oh! I love oh, how this hey, fight against the cat, actually. for me, is basically just 
mash melee and mash magic and just hope that like I can get a spell off. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting a little more like careful consideration into the spells because I'm also trying to heal a lot. <laughs> Or rather, needing to heal a lot. <laughs> right. So now oh, I'm actually going to really do close. something I basically have not done the entire game, which is play as the cat. <laughs> because this is magic time. And See, I wanted to play as the dog, and I swapped at first, but then I re-swapped, so I've been the cat the whole time, oh, and really? I've been disgusted. Oh, that was the mana spell. Whoops. Ah, oh, I forgot. I forgot. When he gets rid of his helmet, all of a sudden, if he gets near you, he just ices you. It's so lame. Oh, it's so slow. Oh, I hate everything. You know what? I should actually be playing as the dog just for all of the small fry here. And then I can go to the cat now that I think about it. Because they are not resistant to <laughs> He moves so fast when you're slowed. It's horrible. Not so when I'm using the healing spell and I get hit, it cancels the healing, which is not great. Oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, no, no. Uh, what's the read? What's the read on when he does oh, the no. slow? Oh no! All it's right, a well I game over. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts so much. But this time, his, his slow spell is ridiculous. This time I'll go in, and I'm first of all not going to fight these four in front of me because I forgot that I probably didn't need to do that. Oh yeah, you probably can skip them, yeah. huh? You probably have to do the other two, but probably just be faster to do the other two, honestly. Yeah, rather than trying to like. Now, them okay, away. so this is like a kind of like cutesy friendly game do we actually kill the king or is he just defeated I don't is it know. like pokemon where they faint or <laughs> did we actually murder him yeah they seem okay with it though <laughs> yeah everyone's just like all right he's, he's dead hooray we're saved all right so this time i'm gonna stay as the dog at first and fight all the small fry because i was not thinking about that last time and that would absolutely be the better way to go Oh, well, not when I immediately take damage, though. No, stop taking damage. Oh, here's stop the best part. Damage. Don't have to go through that poisonous forest because I can just roll through the water. Fantastic. I'm going to take the save try to stay here. Healthy. What's nice about Wolfen is he's just there. I don't have to go through a dungeon. Yeah. Oh, well, no, you got to do through, like, a little mini one. Oh, then he tricked me. Never mind. Why did I open yeah, my mouth? Yeah, I was, like, I was like, wait a minute. No, you actually do have to go through, like, a little mini dungeon. Man, I, okay. I played Wake myself. The cat up, I'm about to need the cat. Ow. Didn't want to get hit by that. All right, let's go wake the cat up. Come on, wake up, wake up, wake Ooh. up. All right, good. The cat woke up. We got rid of almost all the small fry. So you're done with Lioner, right? Yeah. So you just have Woofy Doggy. I have, I have Doggo and then Big Boy. Okay. All right, we got rid of <laughs> everybody. I'm in so much Big pain. Boy. So now we're going to use the cat. Ow. Oh, I'm 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 not doing a good job right now. Here. Oh man. That's what you want to hear, it but is. like Yeah, but it's also pretty evident that I never leveled up magic right now. And the dog is not using fire enough, which is the one thing that like it could be doing. Luckily what with no other enemies around, this is like way, way easier. Oh yeah, like as soon as I got rid of the enemies, it was like night and day. Yeah. Man, your time investment. Yeah, my time investment is <sighs> paying off yeah, right now. For that gesture suit. It's how RPG. Yeah, here, here's the part where the dogs like help me, help me destroy them, and they're just like, nah, it's okay. I'm literally like, I, it's just taking so long to whittle his health down.
There we go, finally. Whew. That just took a long time. And now I still have a second phase. <laughs> uh, I'm like, I'm a breath away uh, from leveling up when that would be really nice right now because I have no health. Second phase should be fine because if I remember correctly, in the second phase is not resistant to magic. Nope, still is. All right. Well, time for the same thing. Uh oh, okay, that was close. That was close. I, I went for the attack right when he it's was like setting up weapon. his. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, All right, so uh, if you want to pick up this game, dodging's a really valuable thing. Uh, if you've oh, seen how many oh, times wait. Hobbs and I have died, we could have dodged a lot of those times. Yep, probably all of them. Okay, I just realized I had not upgraded, I not switched to a staff that was more powerful, so that's on me. Oh, was it like the arcane staff? Yeah. I was still using the, like, ice staff. So, that's on me. That was silly, but... I think, actually, like, I remember, like, playing with the arcane staff a little bit. And I think I was still doing more damage with, like, the ice or the lightning or something. I think it's the elemental part. I think it just stacks more damage. Or maybe I'm imagining things. I, oh. Yeah, I don't know. This seems to be doing more. Because the lightning spell that I'm using is doing quite a bit more. All right, some somehow, some way, didn't die when I'm pretty sure I had one HP the entire time. <laughs> okay, 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 we got this. See, this is where <clears throat> being underleveled and not knowing the correct routing <laughs> for being underleveled yeah. is really rough because it's just a long boss fight. That's that's why I made the time investment. And I'm glad that I did. Oh, I did not mean to go that way. Rolled the wrong way. And dead. Okay. Whew. Man, you're going to end up winning because of the jester suit. I'm making my comeback, Hobbs. <laughs> it's going to be five to four instead. All right. I'm going to actually take the time to like take over. So that's right there. Now, luckily, I am going to to like put the dog down pretty fast. Poor choice of words. But <laughs> like, right, I should so be I'm... able to take care of him pretty quick. I'm actually going to, um, this, if this costs me, this costs me. I'm going to go out of my way to upgrade my magic one more time, just because this is the final boss. Um, yeah, see, I'm going to do the same, but for my, uh, my physical. Unless, maybe I should just use it on the magic. Nah, let's go use it on the physical. This might not have been faster, but this is the most consistent Hado Doggo hut that I know. So I'm going to go here. There you go. So my fire is now level six. Might have been a closer one. In fact, there was almost certainly a closer one. But... All right. Oh, wow. That was not worth it. I did not have a, a lot of money. I should have paid attention. <laughs> oh, well. All right. We're going to roll on over. To All right. the wolf boss. This is the last fight, I believe. I'm going to need you to game over a couple times for me. I probably will. Don't worry about <laughs> that. All right. Save one more time just in case I do die. Although at this point in the race, I probably should just go for broke. But I really don't want to, like... Oh, no, I wouldn't have had to roll, because that's where I accepted the quest anyway, so... Oh, well. I'm just going to roll through the spikes, and... If I get hurt, I get hurt. Really hoping I still get healed. <laughs> oh, no. I think I just completely wasted the mana for the heal. That's unfortunate. All right, so the the boss looks pretty close to Ow. dead. Because for whatever reason, this boss is way easier than the cat and dog. Yeah, it's like way easier. <laughs> oh, that's not great. That's not great. All right, now now they're, they're going to show us, hey, we forged this mighty blade. And then the blade just like demolishes him. Oh, yeah, you're like done, done. 
Ugh. I'd like my blade, please. Hi, please. The king's blade. Where's the damage dog? Don't worry, I'll find a way to somehow die with the king's blade. Please do. I would, I would find that most amusing. And he's dead. Go team. Okay. <laughs> now that's not quite time yet. So there is no, still time I, I still for you gotta... to somehow mess up. I'll find a way. Don't worry. Oh. Oh, no. I keep messing up. But it's supposed to be <laughs> you who's supposed to mess up right now. Oh, no! <laughs> I rolled horizontally when I tried to roll diagonally. <laughs> Darn analog stick. All right. Well, that's pretty much going to seal it. I mean, it was already sealed, but that's going to, like, extra double seal it. <laughs> Wait. No, 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 no. I just... I thought of something. The one oh, time man, that a teleport might been, actually be handy. Get over I'm here. An idiot. I could have been rolling through all this stuff with the cat so that way the the health didn't wasn't I'm so dog. smart okay. why didn't I do this casually oh my goodness I, I actually need the cat back oh no okay here we go that way the the damage all right so as soon the as dog. the picture loads like it, it's gonna be like a portrait that's that's time and that's mm -hmm. gonna happen any second now time all right <laughs> Hey Hobbs, here's here's a nice little tip. You can get to the end faster. Yeah. Take take one of the teleporters, and instead of taking another teleporter when you're in the hub, just go down All the and way go to up the, the bottom. stairs. Yeah, I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I didn't even think about that casually. Oh man. Man, I was dealing so much more damage this time. It felt like for some reason. Apparently, a Cat Quest Three is gonna come out. Maybe that's a yeah. maybe that's a TFS for another day. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> You can get your revenge, man. <laughs> Too salty for revenge. Oh, man. Why do I need to keep <laughs> killing the dog right at the end? All right. Well, let's go I, wait I think that we we're, we're going to be well underestimate. Yeah. This is. We're good at gaming. This ended up being a lot faster than expected. You know, assuming assuming I actually don't die here this time. Oh, thank you. But this is this is the interesting thing about uh, if you want to pick there up an RPG. A lot of times, um, what might take some extra time might save you a ton of time in the end. Um, for example, apparently me getting the the armor at the beginning was the actual speed strat, which that you go out of your way to do. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if getting that jester suit was part of it, but like I took the time to do that, and it felt like it was helping a lot because I caught up to you rather. Yeah, quickly. you caught up to me so fast, like that absolutely helped you a lot. Um, but like some, sometimes taking those time investments in an RPG is what makes or breaks a run. Um, some good examples for other RPGs, if you want to think about like Pokemon, um, in White Two, you actually spend about three minutes to catch a Drillbur, but you save infinitely more time when you get that Excadrill, like there's there's always those fine little nuances with RPGs. And that's mm -hmm. why I personally like speedrunning RPGs a little more, um, just because I like that thought process and I really like the the routing aspect of it. Also, you know, this is this is a secret between you, me and the audience here. Don't tell anyone, but I'm actually not that good at games, so I can't <laughs> do platformers that well. Shh. All right, I just game over it again. So I think we're just going to call it there because <laughs> I game over to the move that I had only been hit by once casually, which was some like lightning move that insta killed both of my party members. So Oof. yeah. <laughs> uh, in any case, thank you all for watching another episode of the first step. Um, pick this game up. And if you want to give it a shot, like if you want to try speed running, this took us like three and a half to four hours a piece casually. And then now keys beat it in under two. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And I beat it in didn't, but <laughs> <laughs> I would have beaten it pretty soon. Um, and that was what, you know, Keith said he, he did just a little bit of looking around. I did very little to no looking around. I found, I guess I found more spells than you. And it just turned out that those were not as helpful <laughs> as the equipment right. you found. Um, so absolutely easy game to pick up and, and start speedrunning, especially if you want to go to speedrun.com and search for Cat Quest 2. You can always find the existing runs that are there if you want to actually like learn what to do. I know we're going to be I watching totally that after watch this because yep. <laughs> I'm excited to find I'm out. I'm curious. Yeah, exactly what they do. Um, but with that, we will see you all next week for a, another game. You want to let them know what we, we got going on next week, Keys? 
Yeah, so um, I think I mentioned when we started this episode that we actually last minute were considering doing a co-op of this. And my joke with that was, hey, it's December, uh, Christmas, and you know the holidays and whatnot are coming up. And what better way to show friendship and all that, you know, cheesy Disney crap that this game had than, uh, than uh, you know, doing a co-op. However, on that note, we are actually doing a co-op next week. Mm -hmm. It's going to be pretty exciting. It's a, what, World War Z? Yeah, we're going to be playing World War Z, which is a game that I think isn't, like, super well-known or anything, but is looks like a very fun-to-play co-op game. Uh, and we're going to see what speedrunning that kind of looks like uh, to, to a small degree. So keep an eye out for that one. Next week, Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. A couple more announcements real quick before we wrap up here. Uh, remember that Hotfix is presenting a CGDQ, Classic Games Done Quick, kind of redux um, 2019 version. I'm to, excited. Yeah, to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the first uh, Games Done Quick event, which was Classic Games Done Quick back in 2010. Um, we'll be having three days of the original schedule with some returning runners, some new runners, and uh, all of these like classic games and stuff that you saw in the original event that I think a lot of people missed out on. That'll be December 27th through the 29th. Be sure to check that out right here, twitch.tv slash games done quick. And starting next week, the Frame Fatales game submissions will start on uh, December 15th and go through until January 14th. So go to gamesdonequick.com slash hotfix for more info. And with that, don't forget about Tree Fort coming up on Sunday and the random number generation show on next Tuesday, 7.30. Thank you, every thank you everybody for watching and we will catch you next week. Take care, everyone. I got to give you compliments. Yes. Uh -huh. Bye. <laughs>